Well, hello, good people. Some exciting news over at Playground. Stable Diffusion XL 0.9 is now live. Now, in case you don't know, I do work for Playground now. That's why you barely see any videos on Playground these days because all the videos I make are over there. <laughs> However, I still plan to do some Playground videos here as well. But getting right into it, let's head over to the canvas in Playground. SDXL is only live on their canvas. So we're gonna go ahead and click G to generate an image. And here on the top right, you see model. Here you can access Stable Diffusion XL. Let's click on that. There really isn't anything majorly different except that it's not usable with ControlNet at this point or any of the newer DreamBooth filters. When we click on filter, you see it's their older text filters. The other ones are grayed out. Most likely when 1.0 comes out and they're trainable with Dream Booth, that will change too. So let's go ahead and generate an image. I have some examples here that I'll show you in a bit. I'm just gonna copy this one here and we can do that by just clicking on the image. This is an existing image and there's a section here where it keeps your prompt in your negative prompt. So I'm just gonna click on that. I'll leave all my other settings and we'll bring our generation frame. Let me zoom in here a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and generate this at 50 steps. However, I will tell you between 30 to 40 is usually more than enough. Try 50, there really isn't that much difference. We'll use Euler Ancestral. And I'm gonna leave this real time so you can see how fast it renders. Also, you see here, it's 992 by 1024. SDXL is optimized for bigger dimensions. And typically you're not gonna get a lot of double heads, abnormal limbs, that type of thing, as long as you're not doing some weird aspect ratios. And you see, it really didn't take that long. Also, it depends on your internet connection too. Now, while I scroll through the canvas here, some of the examples I use with SDXL 0.9, there are a couple of things I wanna talk about. First and foremost, this model obviously is not complete. 1.0 is coming out. And this isn't a revamped model. It's more like a, a tweaked model of SD 1.5 and 2.1. And for those of you that know the whole tech side of it, basically now it uses open clip and clip which are basically a text and image encoder. And it goes through an advanced image to image process to get the higher resolutions. These examples you see are all 1024 by 1024. Now you can tell like the color, the contrast, they're very vibrant and bright. Here's some photorealistic examples. And I will tell you, you can get pretty photorealistic examples. I'd say quite easily. They do tend to have a little bit of a hyper realistic look. So prompting for photorealism, not literally in the sense with the word, but in your various techniques will help you get photorealistic images. You'll also notice this model is a bit more coherent in terms of your prompt. I find it listens to the prompt a bit more literally than SD 1.5 or even 2.1. And the details you can get from it are just amazing. And it's also said to be optimized where if you're gonna run it locally, you can run it on an eight gig GPU. And I think that's more with Stable Diffusion 1.0. I've tried it on my local computer with 0.9. It works, but it really struggles. But hearing from Stability themselves, they did say that an 8 gig card, like a 3060, for example, which is what I have, I have the TI variant, that card should be good enough. They even talked about using 2070s to train LoRa's quite easily. So definitely something to look forward to if you can't afford you know, like a 3090, 4090 card. And for those of you that can't run it locally, places like Playground, I'm sure there'll be other online platforms that will have SDXL on their platforms if they don't have it already. So I know this was a short video, so head on over to Playground to try Stable Diffusion XL 0.9. Until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.